Welcome to the Informed Pregnancy and Parenting Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Elliot Berlin. Today, we're talking with one of the founding members of a unique company that specializes in prenatal and postpartum wraps, modernizing the ancient practice of belly binding. Since its launch in 2008, the company has seen tremendous growth and has evolved from its signature product, the Belly Bandit Belly Wrap, to a whole line of maternity wear, intimates, and compression shapewear. Co-founder and CIO, Carrie Caden, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my goodness, it's a pleasure. I get asked every single day questions about... I love hearing that. I love it. So let's uh, try to answer some of these questions. Let's start with the beginning. How did Belly Bandit come to be? Well, it's kind of a funny story, and we'll probably have a lot of TMI Okay. In, in this topic well, it's, and this it's conversation, what we love more than anything else. yeah, and you know, you know all about it. I was going to. You have four the, kids, right? I have four kids. Okay, we're going to start the TMI podcast. You, you'll start with me. Okay. <laughs> so basically, when my middle sister and my partner Lori delivered, she was she was miserable. She had a little postpartum, and she was super unhappy with her body. She gained. She says sixty five. I think it was closer to eighty. So she gained a ton of weight. During pregnancy? Yeah. You guys are not that big to begin with. No. She's really thin, too. You look at her and you'll go, no way could you ever have. It's really hard to picture yeah. on, on her. You, you know her. Yeah. So she delivered, and just like you see in the movies, you think you're going to walk out with the body from eight months ago. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't happen. So she gets home. She, she lives in her juicy sweatpants because nothing fits her, of course. And again, this was 13 years ago. And she just kept complaining to my other sister, myself. She's miserable. She doesn't feel like herself. She doesn't look like herself. She didn't want to get out of bed. She didn't want to be mobile. Mm -hmm. And that was a real issue. And we're very, very close. We're all extremely close. So seeing her struggle Mm -hmm. really affected us. And I think our our turning point, she was, I believe, I don't know, at Target, somewhere buying cat food, you know, reached up. And a guy said, you know what? You're super pregnant. Let me help you with that. <gasps> yeah. Mm. Um, cut to, she was about two months or three months post. Wow. Drops the food, runs outside mm. to uh, the car waiting, and just says, go, go, go. Mm. You know, I'm falling. Sorry. So that was the impetus. But the nice thing is that guy wanted to help who exactly. he thought was pregnant get the cat food exactly. from up there. What a mensch. Yeah. <laughs> um, so after that... She actually offered. She said, Carrie, will you do me a favor? Will you carry my second kid? And this was before I met my husband. And I said, you know like what? surrogate Carrie? Yeah, like, no, it's me, Carrie. Carrie, yeah. Carrie. Oh, right? Yeah. And I said, there's no way. If you couldn't, of course I would. But that's. She wanted you, Carrie, yes. to surrogate Carrie her, her next second baby. Because that's how awful her oh, experience was. I had no idea. Yeah. So. My other sister, Jody. So there's Jody is the oldest, Lori's the middle, and myself. You're the baby. I'm the baby. I'm the baby, and I never let them forget it. <laughs> um, we kind of put our heads together. So at the time, Lori and I both had a company called Caden Concepts, and we still do, and it's marketing and swag. All so right. anything with a name and logo, yeah. sourcing. So we were really good at creativity, marketing, and sourcing. And then Jody had a company at the time, which she has since sold, which was design. Okay. So she designed high-end cabinets, kitchens, houses. Brilliant designer. And we always talked about one day all working together and figuring out something. We didn't know what that something was. Okay. So between the time Lori had Charlie her first and Chase her second, we really went to work and we're like, there has to be a better way. There just has to be. I mean, how is it possible that you go from your OBGYN to your pediatrician, and there's nothing for moms. Mm -hmm. And this is such a struggle because everyone's caring for the baby. You have friends come over and family come over, and everyone's all about the baby, right? So we started doing research. We read, read, read. And, you know, we realized that it was an age-old practice. And much like what you do, acupuncture, therapeutic massage, herbology, it was something that has been around for centuries. Belly binding. Belly binding. You know, there is the Japanese sarashi, uh, the Mexican faja, and um, I think from spiritual reasons to medicinal, and then plain old vanity. There's every reason to bind, but nobody here talks about it or knows about it. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, my God, this is our Oprah aha moment. (laughs) This needs to be fixed. 
It's true. You really landed on something that's very not mainstream. Like I've been seeing for years that sometimes doulas do it or like postpartum doulas, um, especially if they come from other countries or cultures. Yeah. And um, the first time I saw it, like really weird. I'm like, why would you do that? (laughs) You know? And then the mom feels so good. It is such a difference. And what we did was compare our test sample for Lori, first and foremost. So we went to work and we started doing all these spec samples. And Jody was the one designing and creating those. Because she's the designer. She's the designer, yeah. And when Lori was pregnant with her second, we had it ready to go. And she took it to the hospital. And literally, as she popped out Chase, she was like, put on my belly wrap, put on my belly wrap. <laughs> And the difference was night and day. Wait a second. Did she gain a lot of weight with the second one? No, not as much. (laughs) Not as much. She probably gained probably 55, I would say. I can't remember exactly. Which is still a generous amount. Yeah. She's Um, also 5'8". Yeah. Yeah. But she's a a candyaholic. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what it is. It's her candyaholic. Oh, Um, me and Lori have a a thing or two in common. Oh, yeah. Our office looks like a candy store. Mm, Pregnant women love it when they come in. Yeah, I bet. They do. So, where was I? Uh, Lori uh, was having her kid, and she so, jumped right into the yeah. belly wrap. So, she pushes Chase out. Give me my belly wrap. Give it to me. And we wrapped her. And the difference between the first, second, third, and fourth week was exponential. We looked at her, and we're like, oh, my God, this works. And prior to that, you know, um, we started talking to our OB. Dr. Jay Goldberg here in Los Mm. Angeles. And we said, let's talk about wrapping. What is this? What is going on here? And he said, there is a science behind it. And that science has to do with relaxing. And a woman's body is just so awesome that it knows automatically what to do. You get pregnant, you sit back and relax, and everything falls into place. So relaxing, which you know, Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot about, is released during pregnancy, and it allows the pelvic joints to loosen and expand so the baby can pass through the birth canal. Right, because babies are typically bigger than your your pelvic bones, your pelvic openings. Exactly. So in order for the larger baby to get through the smaller pelvis, the pelvis has to be able to expand. And the relaxant takes what's normally pretty stable and makes it deliberately less stable for a little while right. so that that baby can come through. And that's, you know, the cause of a lot of different pains in the body, right? This is so my domain. Th- this is your domain. <laughs> you can speak everyday. probably yeah. better than I can about it. Well, I've never experienced it, but... Uh, so your lower back, all the joints, your your pubic symphysis, yeah. everything can have an issue when everything becomes loose, Sure. right? Um, so the relaxant stays in your body for a specific amount of time and... You know, there there is no definitive that I know of so far. They say until you stop breastfeeding, relax and remains in the body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it comes down, but it's not totally gone. Yeah. So we were capitalizing on that based on, you know, the time to bind. And the time to bind is immediately after you deliver. And we say for minimum the first six to ten weeks. You know, other cultures bind up until a year. Now, is it something that you – how how – Often do you do it, and how long do you wear it for? So, you know, we like to tell people as often as you can. It's more beneficial. I'm a really good example because I said, I don't want to take this off. And I I double wrapped. I had a hip wrap. I had my belly wrap. And I wore it. Sometimes I would take it off to sleep. But I actually could feel the contraction of my uterus. So the uterus goes from the size of a baby to the size of a fist. Mm -hmm. And how long that can take to contract or come back down, everyone has a friend. And and Mm -hmm. your friends can, you know, show you, hey, this is where I was and this is where I'm going to be. But it could take a year. It could take eight months, four months, six months. In Lori's case, she was still really large after two months to to the point where someone said, you're really pregnant. Mm -hmm. So every woman's different. I did just – I had a mom today, six six weeks. Mm Mm-hmm. At the office, she had her baby six weeks ago, super fit and active, in great shape, and she's six weeks postpartum. She's just itching to get back, and she is getting back into her activity, and she was sort of lamenting. She's like, I'm not so happy with my body right now because I still have this pouch, I think she mm-hmm. called it, 
And, you know, I was like, you're in amazing shape. You just had a baby. Like, yeah. it took you nine months to grow that bump. And it doesn't just disappear. Like, you're doing great, you know. And it's hard. I, I think by the time she left, she, she felt better about it. And she realized big picture. Well, that's, I think, mentally and physically go hand in hand. So when you're back from the hospital and you don't feel like yourself and you don't look like yourself and you can't fit into clothes and all you want to do is sleep and your body is being used as a drink, <laughs> it's very hard to kind of see through the darkness. And I'm, I'm not speaking for every woman. I'm speaking for myself. And I'm speaking for, you know, the women I've talked to. So when you feel better, you're more mobile. You're more active. You're out taking a walk. And a lot of times when people rap, I hear this. It's kind of like when you put a Band-Aid on your finger or you hold your finger after mm. you cut it. That compression makes you feel better. Or when you have a stomach ache and you put a pillow against you and you kind of lean over. It makes you feel safer, especially if you've had a C-section. Now, I had an emergency C-section, and I did not know what the F hit me. Mm. I was down. I had, I didn't plan for it, and it was probably the worst pain I'd ever felt. I was not mobile at all. So I didn't start doing anything You're until— after you had the— After cesarean. I had the C-section, yeah. Man, that was the worst thing. And I could not bend or get up— Getting from the hospital home, I remember holding on to my scar so tight. Every bump was like being punched in the gut. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was no joke. So. Sorry for people listening that are having a C-section. Well, you know, look, both types of birth can leave you traumatized. Yeah. Um, both types of birth typically go really well. But um, sometimes people have a really hard recovery from a cesarean birth. Sometimes they have a really hard recovery from a vaginal birth. And a lot of people have easy recoveries from both of those. But, um, you know, it's trauma. It's Yeah. And I thought I had a high pain tolerance because I grew up with two sisters <laughs> and the hair pulling and the pinching. I <laughs> the thought, baby. yeah, this is going to be a breeze. <laughs> yeah. It was tough, huh? It was really tough. So for you in your cesarean recovery, when you would wear – compression, your compression wrap, mm -hmm. it, how, how did that make you feel? So I waited about four days because I couldn't have anything next. Nothing touching Nothing it. touching me. And that's a very interesting thing for somebody who owns a belly wrapping company mm -hmm. to not be able to jump into it like that. Yeah. Ironically, that was for the birth of our C-section underwear because I needed them. Hmm. So that's how another product came to be. What is C-section underwear? So our C-section underwear is basically – a pair of underwear that are very tight. And over the incision area, we have a specialized silver fabric. And that silver fabric has some benefits. For example, it's antibacterial, uh, microbial. And it's, it's very unique because people in NASA use it mm -hmm. for their suits. Oh. Um, it's it's a very high intense fabric. That's and great if you're using the C sports field and then go right into outer space. Exactly, just in case. Multi you never know. multi purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so is it the fabric plus like just gentle compression it's, because they're yes. tight. It's are a they tight everywhere or just tight over tight the belly? They're tight from under the breast to your hips. Oh, it comes up. Yeah, it's very tall. They're very tall, and um, basically, it's a pull under PP hole mm -hmm. because one of the things I found was I couldn't bend over. Oh. There's no way I could unsnap a clasp or any kind of movement down there. It was a pull over. Oh, wow. So these are things, again, that we do based on the need. And for me especially, I was probably the worst in pain. I actually sent a picture to your staff today before and after. Of you? Of me. So you could actually see the difference. Oh, we can post it if you want. Yeah, to. I was really, really large. And then, of course, I tracked my progress from week one to, I think, eight. So you'll see. And I came home, and again, I looked really big, really pregnant. So apparently it runs in the family. Yeah. I think it might run in my family, too, because about a little over a year after we had our first baby, I had not taken off any of the baby weight, and my wife insisted on getting pregnant again. <laughs> And it just went downhill from there. Um, wow. Okay. I want to learn about your other products. 
because we're just really scratching the surface. You have yeah. a lot. You've grown. I mean, the postpartum belly wrap yes. right, was your first product. That was the, yes, the invention. That was the invention from Lori's misfortune with cat food at Target. Exactly. And so we started with an original style. And then, you know, based on all of our personalities, we said, hey, why don't we get a bamboo eco-friendly? Why don't we get a couture? Mm. Um, And then we did a lot of collaborations in, in different ways. We did an organic one for a while. We have a BFF, which is a body formulated fit, a.k.a. your best friend forever. Oh. So I think right now we have five styles of belly wraps, and we are launching our 10-year anniversary belly oh, wrap. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. What is the 10-year belly wrap? Well, it's called the Lux. Okay. It is kind of a collaboration of our 10 years, what we've learned about our belly wrap, and perfecting it. It's two different panel closures, similar to one of our other styles, the BFF, and the material is super-duper thin. It's extremely comfortable. And it's launching in about two months, our Deluxe. Yeah, so we we really – one of the great things, I think, about us as sisters and founders is we listen to comments. And a lot of our products are based on what's missing or what women want to see. So I like to say – one of my mottos is I actually like if somebody tells us what's wrong with our product rather than compliments us because then we go – yeah. We change it. We we switch it up. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of really listening. You, Actually, I get all the emails in oh, from, from customers, and I delegate them out. But I want firsthand look to see what's being said. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back and learn a lot more about compression wraps and also you have pregnancy products. Sounds great. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Karen Caden. <laughs> Welcome back to the Informed Pregnancy Podcast. We're talking with Carrie Caden from Belly Bandit. I have a question. We were talking a lot about postpartum binding, which is how your company got started. Are there people who are against the concept of belly binding? Yeah, of course. And why? It's because women find it hard to believe that something can be effective and it's non-surgical and it's an easy on, easy off Easy on, easy off versus tradition, like the old school belly binding was a whole process. Yes. It was knot and tie and knot and tie. And they actually did it with sheets a lot. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's going to be non-believers. And a lot of times what's interesting that I hear from customers is, you know, I didn't wrap on my first or second, but I used it on my third and I look like I did before I had a baby. Oh, wow. And that, to me, is so amazing to hear. Mm-hmm. Um, Are there people who are it's just not a good fit for? They just won't like it? Sure, of course. There's certain body types where it's not as comfortable. Mm-hmm. Someone who has a teeny tiny waist and bigger hips might not find it as comfortable. But it's a compression wrap. So, again, you have to wear it as tight as you want to wear it. Mm-hmm. And some people won't wear shaper because they find it confining. Mm-hmm. So it's really... More sensitive to that. Yeah. Are there contraindications, like someone who shouldn't wear it? You know, we always say check with your doctor. If you have any issues, check with your doctor, especially C-sections. You know, you never know. I waited four days. Mm -hmm. And I did. I talked to my doctor about my progress. But yeah, again, it's it's individualized. I'll say this. For people who try it and like it... Mm -hmm. They love it. Love it. They love it. They come in, they're like, I love it. And so it's a little hard when people ask, should I do this or shouldn't I do it? I'm like, oh, if you can try it, try it and see if you like it. Yeah. You know, we are recommended by doulas and midwives and doctors, and we're actually carried at Cedar sinai And again, you probably know this, after any major abdominal surgery, you're fitted with a binder at the hospital, right? Again, that binder... This is great. And, and I always like to mention this because people always say, why, why should I buy a belly band at belly wrap? And I can get one free from the hospital. Ooh. And this is what I always say. Nothing at the hospital is free. Yeah. When we were there for Lori's deliveries, I don't know if you know this, but Cedar sinai has the best chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. The best chocolate chip cookies are like homemade. They make them like once, but they don't make them all day. It's like a time of day. Yeah. It's like visiting hours will close and then chocolate chip cookies are coming out. Exactly. And we knew the timing <laughs> and there was probably 10 of us in Lori's room at all That's times. That's why we had our fourth kid. 
At Cedars? No, I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> why you had the four kids. <laughs> it's a reason. Yeah. It's legit. Those Cedars cookies. So Lori gets the bell. She was billed for the additional cookies that we kept what? asking for. I swear to you. I swear to you. And uh-huh. the binder that they had given her, and she said, don't worry, I don't need it, was billed. And I, I can't recall, but I want to say between $50 and $70 at, at the time. For the binder. Yes. And it's not and a it great was, binder. No, no, no. It's generic. So, but it's not there's, – there's not really any compression. Now you're making me wonder if I can bill my insurance for my chocolate chip cookies. Listen, it's worth a try. Thank you for opening my <laughs> mind to that idea. Let's talk about your pregnancy stuff because you have expanded also, no pun intended, to, uh, right. to pregnancy products. So after our belly wrap, we kind of knew compression and we knew it well. And our mom had said, make me something now. Make me like a compression tank top. Hmm. And that was the birth of our mother tucker line. It was for our mother. Uh huh. She wanted to be tucked. We were <laughs> at that time being kind of spoken about as this is the mother of all compressions after, after you deliver. So it was very fitting. So we expanded to that. No pun intended there. No pun intended. Hmm. We could say this another 10 <laughs> times. Then we had our BDA line, which is before, during, and after pregnancy. What is that? Um, One garment for all three? Yeah. Wow. Multitasking. We do. We multitask a lot. And I think we're really thoughtful with our products. So – Every woman who who's pregnant says, I don't want to spend so much money because I'm only going to be wearing it for a limited Short amount time. of time. Yeah. So we want to make sure everything we do is quality and worth the expenditure. And we really enjoy solving problems in an innovative way. So I'll give you an example. We have a product called the Flawless Belly. And it's a tubular knit product. And it goes from under your breast over the tush, right? And it's made from our Wonder Weave fabric. What's Wonder Weave? Great question. It's the only fabric that keeps lotions on your skin and off your clothes to help fight stretch marks, lock in moisture, and relieve the really dry, itchy pregnancy skin. Oh, so this is for during pregnancy. Yeah, it's while you're pregnant. And then... It's one of the things that people complain about a lot, they talk about, um, is itchy belly. Mm -hmm. That there don't seem to be any great products to, uh, like, the products have to do more with stretch mark claims than calming down that crazy itch claim. Yeah. Again, there wasn't anything out there. And we created this particular fabric in a number of our products. So the Flawless Belly, you wear while you're pregnant, so your clothes fit longer. This is, it's a clothing extender. Oh, I see. Um, you can wear shirts over it. It helps with dry, itchy pregnancy skin, keep your stretch mark lotions on all day and kind of bathe in, in whatever it is you're using. And then post-pregnancy, you wear it under your garment. So if you're breastfeeding and you're out in public and you want to not show, you know, your love handles or your post-pregnant belly, it really covers your body. You mm-hmm. lift up your shirt a little, you stick the baby under there and boom, they're breastfeeding and you're not exposing yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, multitask. Multi- and that's one of our taglines, actually, multitasking clothing. Mm. Yeah. smart. So we went into... How does the... But- it's, so it's a, an adjustable size? Well, no, it's expandable. Oh, yeah, but so it, it grows. It grows with you and then it shrinks with you. Wow. Yeah. I wish my clothing did that. It could. For my yo-yo. I could get you a sample. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any dad products yet? You know, if I had a dime for everybody who asked for the dad bandit. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, the beer belly bandit? The beer belly bandit, too. <laughs> That's a request. We get a lot. No, no guys so far. Not yet. Mm-mm. And then yeah. you have a, a Upsy Belly. Yeah. So the Upsy Belly is one of our belly support products. And it was really designed to lift your belly and support your back. And it stabilizes your pelvic area, which can help ease back aches and redistribute your belly weight, which is a lot. When, when you're carrying 20 to 40 pounds, it's a lot to be on the load of the back. So something I see in practice commonly is sometimes people work out their core a lot before pregnancy Mm -hmm. without also strengthening the lower back. So there's this imbalance where the muscles of the front of the lumbar spine are really strong and tight and they're pulling forward on the front of the Mm -hmm. lumbar spine, which people have a hard time imagining. But the back part where you can feel those little bones in, in the middle of your spine is the back of a vertebra. But there's also a front of that vertebra, and it's underneath the deep core muscles of the abdomen. Right. And those muscles, that psoas muscle in the front of the spine, actually attaches to the front of the lumbar vertebra and the discs that connect them. So 
if it's very strong and tight, especially if it's tight, it pulls forward on the lumbar spine. And if the muscles behind the lumbar spine, your lower back, are not strong as well, then there's this comparative weakness in your lower back. Mm -hmm. And so it gets pinched because everything's getting pulled so far forward. When you add a baby to that now, right, and getting into the second trimester, middle of the pregnancy, third trimester, there's so much extra pull on what was already pulled too far forward. So oftentimes that support belt, that some kind of pregnancy support belt that you put under the belly and lift up a little bit, just taking a little pressure off the low back, can either resolve or minimize the frequency and intensity of low back pain. And at the very least, like when I see people and we massage it out and we adjust it out for in-between visits, if they're going to be active on their feet a lot, lifting that pressure off the lower back can make a huge difference for the comfort of the pregnancy yeah. and the condition that their spine will be in after the baby comes. Which, and we'll talk about this in a second, the belly wrap is super beneficial for but back to the belly support. So our upsy belly does just that for you. Mm -hmm. It lifts the belly. This is why I loved it. When the belly is lifted off your uterus, you're not peeing every five minutes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're not peeing every five minutes. and It's great to have nine minutes. Yeah, or ten. <laughs> or ten, especially in the middle of the night. Even at the end when you're really compressed. Yeah. So in our product, in the upsy belly, we have a built-in pocket in the back, and it comes with a hot cold pack. Oh, yeah. Because we wanted to ease that pain. In the lumbar spine. Exactly. And so you can either put it in the microwave for a few seconds or put it in the freezer, and it's malleable. So it's not going to freeze into an ice cube. Because mm -hmm. um, it, com it comes with a pack. It comes with that pack, yeah. No, it's so smart. And it's, again, things to keep you mobile when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Instead of sitting there holding your belly because it's uncomfortable to walk, you do need things to assist you and support you. you. And, you know. You guys hold the belly for them. Yeah. We say you nurture the baby, we'll nurture you. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Um, okay, what else? What's your newer stuff coming out? Oh, gosh. We have so many really cool new products. Um, we have launched recently our anti-collection, and that's bras and underwear, and they're leak-resistant underwear because you got that new mommy laugh where, <laughs> oops. Sneeze, cough. A sneeze, a cough, a jump on a trampoline, mm. running. You know, I had a C-section. But the same thing happens to me as if I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how well, that's possible. Sometimes the pelvic floor trauma is not from birth. It's from pregnancy. All that weight. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we launched Just that collection. Just as a side note, we have a pretty cool episode on pelvic floor. Um, I'll be just, listening to that. Yeah, search through it. It's very, very informative with the pelvic floor PT because people come into the office sometimes like two years after having a baby saying that they have a postpartum issue. And then they come in, the baby's two or two and a half years old, and it's pelvic floor stuff that they just thought would go away or that couldn't be treated. And, you know, sometimes we can do it with the, with the muscles and bones and tendons of the low back, hips, and pelvis, and sometimes they end up going to a pelvic floor PT, and it can make a huge difference, life-changing yeah. difference. So you, you made mention of the issues, right? that happen during pregnancy that carry over. Mm -hmm. And besides that, there's diastasis recti as well mm -hmm. and tremendous back issues. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons that the belly wrap was so great for women is, think about this. You have construction workers that wear weight belts and you have weightlifters wearing weight belts, right? Mm -hmm. They're protecting their back, they're protecting their core. But you have a brand new mom who has relaxing in her system and she's carrying the carriage, the car seat, the stroller with a baby. That can be 30 pounds. Yeah. And she's, she's expected to lift it and, she, and, and right. bend. And what happens is back issues. Yeah. And it's so important to support your core and support your legs after childbirth. And that's one of the things a belly wrap does. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. I've, and I've, once again, if she's going to be postpartum and going to a construction site. Right. She's got exactly. everything covered. You can put a hammer right in there. <laughs> you and should hear do that. Tighter. Can hold the tools. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's all about supporting the women. I have a TMI during. question. Yeah. Literally supporting the women. Mm -hmm. um, how do you get leak resistance? So that's our secret sauce. We actually have a patent on the on the underwear. Oh wow! And Jody is the again designer. the designer, and oh. one of the keys to our new underwear. There's no stitching on the sides, again, for periods, for pee, 
incontinence, whatever it is, if you're leaking and you have stitching on the side of your underwear, it's going to go through. Mm -hmm. So we developed a methodology that it's not going to. Wow. No Mm -hmm. stitch. No stitching on the side, bonding on the bottom. But they're real cute. And (laughs) um, women seem to love them. And we're also coming out with a leak-resistant bra as well. For nursing? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's really cool that you see the needs, mm-hmm. and uh, as you guys have babies, you feel the needs. Yeah. And then you create products that fill the needs. It's- well, it's interesting. So I had a call a year ago from an OBGYN in a different state. She said, can I talk to you? Sure. And she said, I have patients all the time that ask me, about sleeping on their back. And, you know, there's so many studies about back sleepers and sleeping on the vena cava, mm-hmm. right? Did I say that correct? Yeah, vena cava, yeah. And that's one of the biggest fears for women when they're sleeping. And, you know, they ask their husband, sleep right behind me so I don't fall backwards yeah. on my back. During or, pregnancy. Yeah, put a pillow there. And So these are the, the vessels that bring blood flow from your lower part of your body back up to your heart. Mm-hmm. The concern is with the baby, if you lay on your back, that the baby and its luggage will compress those blood vessels and you'll decrease the circulation of blood flow back to your heart. Why do they say sleep on your left side instead because of your right side? Because the vena cava are off to the right. So Okay. So she calls. She says, I really would love to talk to you about making a product. I think it's very well needed. And I'm still I, – I did the same thing. What's going to happen if I sleep on my back? Could the baby die? What do I do? I'm a side sleeper or I'm a back sleeper. And so we've created a sleep belt that's going to be launched that does not allow you to turn. Oh, it keeps you in place. It keeps you in place, That's yeah. interesting. I do have patients that sometimes wake up and, you know, they'll talk about how they freak out. They went to sleep on their left side. And they magically and, uh, woke up. They woke up on, on their back, back yeah. and they panic. And it's like, hey, look, if you do compress those blood vessels, you're going to feel sweaty. You're going to feel nauseous. You're going to feel different. And you move. Just like if you had to pee, you, you kind of wake up and yeah. move. So it's more of a, a, an abundance of caution that people don't sleep on their backs or just sleep with a little bit of a, an incline, like a wedge behind yeah. them so that there's room for the blood to flow. And then also today, a lot of the doctors and midwives are comfortable. You know, they're just like, you can sleep on your right side or left side. It doesn't have to be one position the whole time. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I see that also. People who sleep on their left side, they force themselves to sleep on their left side of the whole pregnancy, they end up pretty uncomfortable and out of balance. And so they pregnancy come Pregnancy problems. Yeah, pregnancy problems that maybe didn't even have to happen if you can just kind of close your eyes and trust your instincts. Yeah, but so. you, got, you got some heavy sleepers out there. Well, I mean, yeah, but still, I think if you start to compress yourself, you'd, you'd wake up. So, but but most doctors and midwives today still say don't sleep flat on your back. Mm-hmm. And so for people who are looking for help with that, like don't want to wake, they want to go to sleep on their left side and wake up on their left side. Peace of mind. Yeah, this will give them peace of mind. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, we're like running out of time. Is there something in development that we should know about? In development. So we're actually launching a new company. Another company? A second company, yeah. Your, your company's having a baby? Well, they're very separate. Okay. But I'll come back on and, and once we launch, tell you about that one. But besides the sleepwear, we've got our active support collection coming out, which is yoga wear. Okay. And again, you can wear it during and after. The materials are amazing. I'll give you a pair. Oh, no, thanks. Yeah. You can grow and shrink in them. Thanks. thanks. I probably um, will. Groin support. Groin support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say that five times fast. Groin support. Groin support. Groin support. What else do we have coming out? There's SPF in our active collection, which I think is very unique in some of the products. Oh, plantar fasciitis shoes. Tell me more about that. Oh, my God. I don't know if you have a lot of patience. Let me see who, it. Yeah. Oh. Again, I, I got hit with that one. That still affects me. I can't walk anywhere barefoot. So... For those people who don't know what it is, the best way I can describe it is you stand up and you feel like your bones are made of glass. On your foot. On your foot. And it is so uber painful. And I am a shoe whore. I have a closet (laughs) of shoes like you would not believe. And all of a sudden, I couldn't wear my high heels. I'm wearing flip-flops all the time that have support. So that was one major issue. And, And I said, we need to carry this. We need to have flip-flops and slides that will help people. Because when you're pregnant, again, that relaxin, yeah. it affects your feet. It's not just the relaxin. It's the relaxin. So if you have an arch, uh-huh. 
the relaxin, and it's a bunch of bones that make that arch, not just one bone. The relaxin loosens the ligaments that normally hold that stable, so the arch is vulnerable to falling. Yep. And then you have all the extra weight that comes on top of it, like an evil joke, um, and it pushes down, and people get bad foot pain. So you need more Do you support. go back? Because I have not gone back. Like, I have this issue, and it has not gone away. Hmm. Maybe we should talk. Yeah. Usually we, we do get people a lot more comfortable, yeah, or, or back to the way they were beforehand. So, yeah, those are some of the products. Um, let's see. What else? I'm we so have... curious about your new company now. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to wait patiently. Patiently. But in general, I just think that it's all about supporting women. There, there hasn't been that body after baby time where you're supported with garments and it makes you feel comfortable and you feel safe. And it's such a uneasy time for some women. Some women, listen, they snap right into motherhood and boom. But for a lot of women, you need extra support physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. So we really wanted to be that company. Well, thank you for doing it. Yeah. And thank you for spending some time coming out here. Absolutely. And sharing your, your amazing work with us. Anytime. Where can we find you online? Uh, bellybandit.com. We're in about 90 countries and probably over 1,000 retailers right That's now. That's it, huh? That's it. Yeah. So You, you can... guys should get to work a little bit. <laughs> we got to start earlier in the day. It's amazing. I mean, you guys are like so motivated and driven. And you've really, in 10 years, in 90 10 years. countries. You know, I can't it's... even name 90 countries. I can't either. It's really funny because when you're in the thick of it, it doesn't feel like you're doing enough. And then you kind of have to at sometimes sit back and look at what you're doing, what you've done, where you've come from, and smell the roses. Yeah. Ten years is not that long of a time for what you've created. It's not. It is and it isn't. Uh, I think it isn't. I mean, I think you've you've done so much in not so much of a period of time. See, we see the opposite. Oh, you know what it was this year that we celebrated? What's that? We were in Oprah's favorite things. Ooh. Issue. That was a, a big huge deal. milestone for yeah. us. Yeah. So, I mean, every little thing is a milestone. Sure. Every little launch, every new product, every testimonial, before and after picture. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to be an Oprah's yeah, favorite thing? congratulations. Thank you. All right. We will look for you online at bellybanded.com. At home, thanks for listening to the Informed Pregnancy Podcast. If you like our program, share us with your friends and leave us some feedback in your podcast app. For more pregnancy and parenting-related media, visit informedpregnancy.com. I got a whole lot of questions for you. This kid's gonna test my will. I got a lot to learn and my baby's too. <laughs> this podcast is a proud member of Parents on Demand, a network of high-quality shows for families just like yours. Download our free network app on Apple and Android and listen to your favorite episodes on the go.